Uh, hello everybody. In this video I would like to um, talk about how to use SAS for forecasting. So um, in your assignment 4 you're going to use these uh, uh, steps to complete your assignment. So let's start uh, with the first step. So in this assignment I wanted to use uh, I wanted to, you to use uh, real-life data. So for that uh, we're going to go to the um, US Energy Information Administration website and then uh, we're going to download some uh, time series. So uh, US Energy Information Administration releases uh, new statistics every every week. So um, they have many time series and uh, the um, instructions for assignment show you how to download the um, data from the uh, Energy Information Administration website. Once you download uh, the data, once you have downloaded the data, you're going to split the data into two parts. Okay. So uh, in the first, uh, so uh, why will you do that? So the first part of data, okay, uh, will be called in sample data, and the second part will be out of sample data. So you're go you're going to use the first part of the data to calibrate your model. In other words, you're going to use the first part of the data to uh, determine the best parameters for your model. Uh, uh, SAS will uh, do this automatically for you. In our previous assignments, I asked you to try different values for parameters and see which one gave you the best uh, forecast quality but in this particular case SAS will automatically determine the best parameters for you okay so then once you have calibrated your model uh, you're going to use the uh, parameters that SAS selected for you the best parameters to forecast uh, the data in the uh, validation sample okay so you cal you can calculate the forecast quality uh, in the in sample data however uh, it is better to calculate the forecast quality in the holdout sample why because when you did the calibration it gives you an artificial advantage uh, in calculating forecast quality. Okay, so your time series will be uh, will have around 700, 800 observations. Okay, so what you can do is you can uh, uh, maybe use the last uh, 10 or 20 observations as your holdout sample or your test data okay and you can use the first like 700 or so uh, to calibrate your model and those uh, uh, parameter values are based on the first 700 or so observations and once you have found those values you're going to use those values uh, in your model to predict the uh, uh, values for the holdout sample okay so that way the uh, the forecast quality in the holdout sample will be more realistic okay so um, in assignment 4 I'm going to ask you to use triple exponential smoothing Okay, so uh, why triple exponential smoothing? Because your data will be seasonal and there could be a trend in your data as well. 
and then uh, you're going to use regression with dummy variables and then I'm going to ask you to use unobserved components model okay now if you are like familiar with another statistical software you could use that that's fine too but um, I have made videos uh, on how to use SAS for these three forecasting methods okay so let's talk about how you use SAS uh, the first step is to upload data okay uh, from your laptop or desktop to the uh, server okay so um, I've made a video uh, so you will have a CSV file or an Excel file on your desktop or laptop and then you're going to uh, upload that uh, CSV file or Excel file onto the server that's step one and then step number two you're gonna turn your Excel or CSV file into a SAS data set okay so when you have a SAS data set SAS data sets are stored under SAS libraries okay so for example here's the work library Okay, work library and here's a SAS data set so SAS works with SAS data sets okay so you cannot use an Excel uh, worksheet directly in SAS you need to import it into SAS and turn it into a uh, SAS uh, uh, data set and uh, I, I've, I've made a video that shows you how to do that so now you have uh, oh just going back a little bit one step uh, uh, before so where does the Excel data sheet come from or the CSV file uh, you download the data so when you download the data from uh, uh, Energy Information Administration that's where that the, the, the data comes in terms of a CSV file okay so you take that CSV file upload it to the server and then import it into SAS and you will get a SAS data set uh, located under a SAS library okay so SAS let me uh, erase okay so SAS has two basic components a SAS uh, uh, program so so this is a SAS program it has a data step and a prox step okay so data uh, prepares your data uh, data step prepares your data uh, the prox step uh, analyzes your data okay so how does this work so when you import your data into SAS and when you have a SAS data set uh, you may not always have all the necessary variables in your uh, SAS data set so you need to use the data step to add necessary variables to your uh, that SAS data set and uh, it works like this so every data step has this format first you say what the output data set is so this is the output data set so this is the end result that we want to achieve and what is the input data step data set this is the input data set okay now you may they, they can be different or they can be the same so uh, in this particular case you start with the same data set and you will do certain things you will add certain variables and then uh, the output will be under the same name so the same data set will be the output okay so if they were different 
SAS would read the input data set and the input data set would, would not change and the new data set would have a different name. Okay? So you specify the input data set, you specify the output data set, and then you have a you can have a number of operations. Okay? And then when you uh, say run, uh, SAS executes the data step. Okay? Uh, so let me erase this again. Uh, all right. So uh, you start with the input data set. This is the output data set. These are your operations here. There, there could be multiple. Run. How do you run? You click on this icon here, this little running man icon, or F3 to run this. Okay. I have a video that explains more clearly how this works. So once you have all the variables that you need in your data set, you use a uh, procedure. Uh, SAS has multiple procedures. For example, SAS has a procedure for exponential smoothing. SAS has a uh, procedure for regression. It's called GLM. SAS is a procedure for UCM, Unobserved Components Model. Okay, So you just say, I want this procedure with this name. And then you tell, you tell SAS which data set to use. Okay, this is the same data set we worked on here. Okay, so uh, you tell SAS you want to use this data set and then you tell SAS what you want. Okay, so for example, you want to plot a time series where the x uh, axis is the month. Okay, maybe it's a monthly time series. And the y axis is number of passengers. So these are the variables, okay, these are the variables in this data set. Okay, so where will SAS get these variables from? SAS will get these variables from this data set okay and then there's run and notice that every SAS statement ends in a semicolon okay don't forget to put a semicolon at the end of every SAS statement so again uh, very very basically you have a data step and a, you have a proc step in SAS and you, of course you can have multiple data steps, you can uh, do multiple things, you can run multiple procedures. This is just a simple example. Alright, so let's do triple exponential smoothing in SAS. So how do we do that? Uh, as I said, uh, SAS calibrates the model for you. Okay, SAS automatically gives you the alphas and betas and gammas, etc. Okay. So here uh, we start with PROC ESM and we end with RUN. Okay. So then we uh, tell SAS our data, where our data is. So the first part is the SAS library. It can be anything. Okay. Just as an example, let's say I uh, have a library, SAS library that's named uh, SCHM 6224 just as an example this can have be any other name dot the actual data set monthly sales okay so uh, library dot name of the data set so SAS now knows um, where uh, to look where to get the data from okay so, and then, uh, I'm going to come here uh, shortly. So, uh, or, or maybe let me talk about this. So, this back, okay, this back, this is the holdout sample, okay? So, this tells SAS, when you, like, you tell SAS, uh, when SAS uh, calibrates the model, the holdout sample will be five observations that are at the end of the data set. So back five means this uh, holdout sample is five periods long. 
okay this is how you specify your holdout sample so you tell SAS not to use the last five observations okay and here uh, you tell SAS how many forecasts to generate okay in this particular example I tell SAS to generate 20 forecasts you can use 10 50 whatever you know it can be any number so SAS is going to generate forecasts for these five uh, observations in the holdout sample and then SAS is going to generate um, 15 other forecasts so in total SAS will generate 20 forecasts okay so the uh, forecasts will be uh, written in a SAS file called out2 okay out4 tells SAS where to write the forecasts okay so the forecasts are not in your data set you just have observations in your data set SAS will calculate 20 forecasts and those forecasts will be put in a SAS data set called uh, out SAS not out SAS out to I'm sorry um, all right so we have our data okay uh, let me just complete this here this is where the forecast will be written uh, SAS will not use the last five observations when calibrating your model and SAS will generate 20 forecasts and those forecasts will be written in this out to data set okay so here um, I want certain plots SAS can generate many many plots and I want uh, these two plots okay and then I want uh, a table print means print a table like numerical values okay I want a table of these estimates forecasts, statistics performance okay uh, there's more detailed explanation in the videos so this is what I want SAS to generate so you tell SAS that this is a monthly data set okay so it can be annual it could be daily weekly etc in this example I tell SAS that this is a monthly data set now in your assignment you will use a weekly data set okay be careful about that so as an example I'm using a monthly data set but in your assignment you will use a uh, weekly data set so I want uh, SAS to forecast okay this is my uh, 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 this is the variable that I want SAS to forecast I named it value you could name it sales you could name it X or Y or Z or whatever in this particular example in this particular data set I happen to name it value okay so I want SAS to forecast uh, the, the variable named value which is in this data set okay which is in this data set now which model do I want SAS to use here I tell SAS to use the winters model so you have four options you have winters add winters add seasonal multiple Malt seasonal okay so what do they mean so if you use add seasonal uh, you will have a level and seasonality only you will not have a trend okay and seasonality will be additive seasonality okay so uh, if you use malt seasonal again level and seasonality only no trend okay um, and then here winters and add winter so winters is multiplicative seasonality with level trend and seasonality and here we have the same thing level trend and seasonality but this time it's additive now which one should you use in your assignment 
you should look at your data uh, see if there is trend or not okay and then you need to think about okay uh, if there is a trend you should use one of these if there is no trend you should use one of these and then the, the choice between the two here and here depends on whether you think there is addi additive seasonality or multiplicative seasonality okay so uh, you could also try each one one by one and see one see which one fits best okay so there's nothing that says you have to pick one and go with it you can try uh, all of them and see which one gives you the best results okay so how will your raw data uh, look like it will look like this in Excel this is a plot from Excel so you see uh, a lot of seasonality a lot of uh, let's say um, uh, uncertainty random errors etc okay so uh, triple exponential smoothing we've talked about this before uh, in the videos okay uh, you can do this in Excel uh, we've talked about this I'm not going to go over this again uh, regression with the dummy variables okay so um, um, in the instructions for assignment 2 assignment 4 uh, I show you how to do regression with dummy variables in SAS okay so these uh, slides are for Excel but in the video uh, instructions I show you how to do regression with dummy variables in SAS okay so let's talk about unobserved components model unobserved components model has a uh, level and a trend combined in a single number so it has level plus trend okay uh, it's designated by mu and then it has uh, sorry trend it has a seasonality component and it has an error term okay so how does level and trend work so level and trend at time t okay uh, you start with the previous level trend okay and then you add the trend component so this is the previous level plus trend that brings you to the next level okay however you also consider there could be some kind of an error term some kind of random uh, fluctuation added to the uh, level okay and then uh, trend so how does trend work so trend uh, this period's trend equals previous period's trend plus some error term okay some fluctuation so trend can can change from period to period so uh, how does SAS uh, implement this so again we have a procedure unobserved components model you tell SAS where to get the data okay so uh, first you identify the date variable okay so and this data is monthly data okay so that's your time uh, subscript in in your uh, assignment this should be weak so you want to model the uh, sales okay or consumption so this is the variable of interest this is the variable you want to forecast you tell SAS model this variable and this variable should be in this data set okay now you tell SAS there's an error component in your model you tell SAS there's this error component you tell SAS uh, there's level, there's slope, there's seasonality. Okay, so level is fine, slope is fine, but for seasonality, you need to tell uh, SAS how long a season is. So this pattern repeats itself every 12 periods. 
Why 12? Because it's a monthly data series. Okay, Every 12 months, the uh, pattern repeats itself. Okay, So if this is weekly, this should be 52. Every 52 periods, the pattern repeats itself. And uh, what kind of seasonality is this? This is going to be a trigonometric seasonality. It's like a sine wave kind of seasonality. Uh, you tell SAS to estimate uh, the parameter values. Okay, calibration. And then you want SAS to generate forecasts. Uh, 24 uh, periods into the future. Okay. And then uh, you want a table printed out. So when, whenever there is print, uh, SAS prints a table. Uh, it, uh, this is the table name, decomp. Okay. Um, it gives you a breakdown of level, slope, season, etc. So then uh, SAS will give you this output, multiple tables. Okay. One of them is this. So SAS says, uh, there's uh, this uh, irregular component. This is the error term. There's level, okay? There's a single parameter for level, single parameter for uh, slope, and there's there are 11 parameters uh, for season. Why not 12, but 11? It's 11 because once you have the 11 uh, periods, the 12th period is you can calculate the 12th period from the 11. You don't have to separately ca uh, calculate an 11th uh, forecast. Okay. So then uh, we estimate uh, the uh, 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 variances. Okay. So these are the variances for the uh, error term, for level, for slope. Uh, for seasonality, etc. Now here, uh, you will see that uh, uh, slope is a very uh, anyway. Let me not confuse you with that. Okay. Okay. And then SAS will give you the uh, forecast quality uh, measures. Mean squared error. SAS will automatically calculate that for you root mean squared error, uh, max, uh, mean absolute percentage error, okay? Uh, and then SAS gives you R square, don't use R square, okay? Uh, compare your MAPE mean squared error, mean absolute deviation for uh, exponential smoothing, regression with dummy variables, and unobserved components model. Okay, don't use R square for the assignment. Okay, so uh, SAS will give you a plot. Okay, so these little blue circles are actual observations, and this line is uh, the model that SAS generated, and uh, the line. The data end here, and the uh, thin blue line continues. The thin blue line is your point forecast. And the blue uh, shaded area around that point forecast is your um, range forecast. Okay, So the final forecast is here, but the range uh, is around here. Okay, So th this is the range for the last forecast and the last forecast is somewhere here. This is the point forecast, this is the range forecast. Okay. Uh, at this point there's an example here but I uh, will skip this example. I'm not going to go into that example. Um, so here's, uh, here's an example. Uh, so this is a table Okay, uh, seasonal components. So uh, the estimate, 
okay so here uh, this is the estimate at the seasonality component seasonality factor okay so four thousand seven hundred uh, and eight now uh, we said seasonal length is 12 okay so it's our seasonal uh, seasonality repeats itself every 12 months so let's look at season uh, let's say we looked at season 1 and let's go 12 seasons into the future so 1 plus 12 we go to 13th period and we see the same seasonality factor okay so uh, the same factor is, repeats itself every 12 uh, periods. So let's look at period 2, 4,212. Let's look at 14, 4,212. So SAS has estimated these seasonality factors and they repeat every 12 periods. Okay, so here are some sources if you want to learn more about SAS. Uh, uh, some communities, uh, uh, some blogs, uh, some stories, etc. Uh, there is uh, free SAS training for uh, uh, for Northeastern students. You can take advantage of that. Okay. All right. So I'd like to stop here. I hope this helps. Please uh, ask me any questions. Email me any questions. Uh, um, and um, this, I hope this uh, presentation will be helpful for you in your assignment four.